making silicon bait stops are fairly easy and they make really good attractors as well. It means that they can be put onto a hook and snood after it's been tied up so you don't have to worry about threading beads on etc. There was a video already on YouTube but it seems to have disappeared so I thought I'd do a quick one just to try and show how it's how they're made. Making the stops is fairly easy. Uh, the equipment required is not difficult to source. First thing I need is some silicon. I've got a gun here loaded up with a, the silicon in it. A decent tub. Um, I prefer the round ones because they're easy to get the mixing done and also to clean out after you've finished. A selection of straws. Again, fairly easy to obtain on the internet. You get them from very small, actually, too small in most cases, but round about 3 to 4 millimetre for the smaller ones, the medium ones are about 5 to 6, and then you can get massive ones, which I've never actually used yet, but you can get massive ones here as well. So that's a selection of straws. I'll put links down in the bit below to show where you get them. You'll also need a syringe, which you'll fill up with the silicon once you've mixed it. And I use a spatula, a dentist spatula for mixing. It's very easy to clean most of the stuff off it, so it makes life easier in the long run. So step one is basically to pump some silicon into your tub. Quantity will obviously depend on the size of your straws that you're going to be using. But it doesn't take a lot to fill a straw. If you imagine that the, the thickness of the nozzle is about the same thickness as the straw, so you get a rough idea how much you need to put into it. Once you have the silicon in the tub, quickly mix round. By the way, always use the clear silicon, don't go for white. Or any other colour stuff, a clear silicon picks up the colours fine. Then you take your powder add it in and mix it thoroughly. This is a lumi powder in this case. The powder is just uh, the powder coating powder is used for this. Thoroughly mix it. The more powder you add, the more deep the colour will be. Obviously it's difficult to see with the lumi uh, and you just have to judge it how bright the lumi is going to be. I'll just add some more. I haven't used this method of producing for a long time, so I don't know how long the powder will last in quantities, but the, the Lumi one that I got is just a very small quantity to start with to try it out, because I think some of the luminous powders are better than others. Once it's thoroughly mixed, you take your syringe body and start loading it up. It's a matter of just pressing it down, pushing it in until you get a sufficient quantity to fill your straws. You try and not get air bubbles in it. So it's a matter of packing, packing it in. It seems a bit messy but once it's all dried, any, any excess just peels away. I might try to find a plastic dowel that will make it easier to push it in. it can take a bit of time and effort to load the syringe. While there's no great hurry in doing it, obviously the silicon will go off itself, but I've found you've got at least 15-20 minutes to work with it before you get a problem. That'll do for this batch. And then stick the plunger in. 
lodge it up. Leave a little amount to come out the end. And then pick your straws. We'll do a medium one here. And it's a matter of just inserting it in and depressing the plunger. The straws are normally partly opaque so you can see what you're doing when you're pushing it in. It can take a fair bit of pressure. You obviously don't have to fill the straw up completely. And what I would do if it looks like it's blocked you'll need to get a needle and pull it out of the end um, to make the hole bigger. You don't have to totally fill it. And what to do is when you get to the end slightly overfill it so you leave a blob on the end and it helps with getting it out. Sometimes it helps just putting it on the table to get your pressure on it to force it up into the straw.